Hello, in this video I will show you how to make this plastic looking snack bag using Adobe Illustrator's gradient mesh. Okay, start by selecting rectangle tool and draw shape, something like this. Let's select 5% gray and let's select our gradient mesh tool add a point here and one point here and also add one point here and here now add another point right here and select direct selection tool and select this point and holding shift key press uh, to the right using mouse keyboard like this you have to hold shift key 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 again select this point using direct selection tool and holding shift key to the left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 <coughs> okay now let's add more points like this again holding shift key use arrow keys to drag these points make this back a little bit more random okay now let's select okay select these points these points are very close use direct selection tool and drag like this and zoom in to see that you selected only the bottom points like this okay and this will be white this will be two percent gray this will be three percent gray this will be okay this will be five maybe eight now go darker in the bottom as it would be a shadow twelve 20, 25, 30, and select this, and 40, like this. Okay, now add points here and here. Select this and this part. and make 50 as you select you make a little bit darker so it looks like a shades 25 15 maybe 17 12 Seven and fifteen, maybe. Okay, this looks strange. Let's make darker. And okay, let's now add the wrinkles or how to call them the details select again mesh tool and add more points like this and just drag them 
randomly up and down into the sides like this. So it look, looks like wrinkled bag. Now select some points when uh, hold hold shift key to select multiple points and let's make in different colors these points like this just random colors but not too big difference so it looks realistic everything is in uh, details Hold shift key to select multiple points and we can add even more points for example this shouldn't be so bright okay 25 just select random points and make them bright in this upper area just play around until the mock-up looks good or any other object that you draw in gradient mesh Okay, that looks quite good, I think a little bit more time and it would look perfect, so you get the idea, first draw the shape, add, point, add a few points only at the start to make your shape look <coughs> how you want and add the details at the end when you already have your shape. And okay, that's it for this quick video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.